hopefully this Black Friday I'll bring in quite the haul. I bought fucking soap! Hey y'all, Scott here. If we're gonna be talking about the Wii, we might as well get this out of the way. Hey y'all, Scott here, and- EW! Hey y'all, Scott here, and before you ask, honestly, what does it look like I'm doing? The Nintendo World Championships and all the other events are wicked cool pockets of Nintendo and gaming history, but enough about that. Let's see how my NWC 1990 score compares to that of Thor Ackerland's. Well, I'll leave it to Nintendo to out me as a giant f***ing pussy. Hey y'all, Scott here, and I have to say, I'm pretty tired of the whole having a reputation thing, so I decided to upload a video of me eating cereal to a pornographic website. Hey y'all, Scott here, and I'm in a predicament. You see, I don't want to be called a pussy, so I'll play Call of Duty, but I want to be a pussy while playing Call of Duty. The Call of Duty series, also known as Hey Guys, My Crotch is Huge, I swear, is the best-selling first-person action franchise in history, according to the back of this box. Dear Scott, people constantly make fun of my eyebrows. What should I do? Yeah, I hate facial hair. Get rid of them. Dear Scott, not advice, just a question. Have you ever killed somebody? Um... No. Dear Scott, which is better, Super Mario Odyssey or The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Oh, thank God you asked that. I had no idea how I was gonna fill the next 20 minutes. But I have to say, I bought Gravity Rush Remastered for a solid $20 on Amazon, and it's definitely worth that price. I wonder if it's still that cheap. Before there were septum piercings, playing Sonic the Hedgehog was the only way to lash out at your parents. We have to take their word for it that he's a hedgehog, like if you saw this thing crawling towards you on the street, I doubt the first thing you shout is, someone get this hedgehog away from me! Hey y'all, Scott here. You know, I was recently adding a brand new copy of Madden Away to my ever-growing collection when I contracted something. <laughs> Depression! 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I'll call you back later. Every single copy of Man 18 is gone from Target. I think we need to get you know who on the case. I think it's worth this time. Every single copy of Man 18 is gone. We got a mission for you. I'm on it. Officer Wool. Steel Wool. Hey y'all, Scott here. Mm-mm-mm. Some 420, right? Well, I hope you're all spending the holiday wisely, that being at an intervention, because smoking makes your neck look like this. That's worth at least a double yikes, right? Smoking is the fifth biggest cause of virginity in the US alone. Here I have my current profile, and I think it's safe to say I'm doing pretty well with it so far. However, in terms of activity, I'm absolutely bleeding loneliness out there. Tinder does have a pay to win option though, with a little monthly fee. So I'm gonna run to the store and grab an iTunes gift card to purchase my way to intercourse. Just when you're ready to jump knee first into the campaign, World at War warns about the use of graphic historical footage, and the term Hitler shit on the ESRB rating is finally starting to make some sense. There are two types of Wii games out there, anti-Nazi and pro-Nazi. Call of Duty World at War ends up in the anti-corner because we are just absolutely obliterating these things in the game. 101 in 1 explosive Mega Mix, at first glance may seem like a deal and a half. I always make sure to pick up anything marked 101 for 1, so when I saw this after searching for 101 in 1 explosive Mega Mix on the Wii Shop channel, I knew I just had to pick it up. Also, the Japanese version of the game included a scene where a homosexual character is drugged and cured of said homosexuality, which may be considered as, say it with me now, GAY CONVERSION THERAPY! Yep, that's gone from our stomping grounds. Yeah, it's unfortunate when entire pockets of gameplay are removed for international releases, but... I mean... GAY CONVERSION THERAPY! Today just so happens to be why is Scott wearing that hat day? Hey y'all, Scott here, and oh... Wow, things are starting to get a little too real. Well, I hope you're all finding good ways to pass the time before the Switch launches. I know I am! <laughs> Hey y'all, Scott here, and raise your hand if you've been waiting for the Xbox One X for three hours at the wrong store. 
Yeah, I didn't pick up an Xbox One X, but I did pick up a few games, and yep, I finally bought into consumerism, which isn't that big of a deal. I'm a pretty big pushover. I'll buy into anything a store associate tells me to. Paper or plastic? Uh, I don't need anything. Really, sir? Everybody needs a bag. I'm a fucking maniac, and I just can't help it, so I'm not looking forward to Black Friday this year. I mean, they had printers for $20 last year, and I'm a sucker I can't resist. Man, what a waterfall of quality. Who knew video games could be so good? Yeah, I'm so happy right now. I think I'm gonna take my new thesaurus on a test drive and see what the antonym for good is just for funsies. I have to look at the worst games of all time next. I'm fucked. The final dedicated micro console we're gonna be taking a look at today is the Mad Cat's Mojo. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to look up the price and subsequently order it online. Yellow. Hey Scott, your old pal questioning Max here. Who is our lord and savior? Jesus Christ! While it's super dark and gritty, the animations make me feel like I should be clapping and stomping my foot to them. They really don't look great. Hey y'all, Scott here, and have you heard? Benito Mussolini faked his death and is making a comeback this E3 in the form of a reboot. Just a rumor though, I would tell you to take it with a grain of salt, but this rumor deserves at least a shaker full of that stuff because I have some pretty trustworthy sources. <laughs> Hey y'all, Scott here, and happy independence. I would have said day, but I'm such a busy guy. So much so that I'm making my jack-o'-lanterns now so I don't have to in October. Pumpkins are hard to come by this time of year. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And did you hear that? Either I'm in a really shitty neighborhood or it's Halloween. I can't tell you how excited I am for the season. I recently ate an entire pumpkin in preparation and I must say I'm definitely more pumpkin than man at this point. And I also followed the simple nine step plan to affirm that I'm going to rake in the most possible trick or treaters this year. But hey, what do I know? Just to reiterate how unqualified I am to be critiquing or even talking about the Call of Duty franchise, let's take a look at my resume. I am going fucking nowhere. Hey y'all, Scott here and you know what I could go for right now? A working kidney. I have three days to live. All here, hey Scott, and don't mind me, just recuperating from the kidney transplant. I asked why they had to cut open my head for the transplant, and they were like, oh, you're just delusional from the transplant. And I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense, the transplant hasn't happened yet. And they were like, ah, oh, don't make stupid observations. Anyways, I found a refurbished kidney online, and to help pay for it, I had to make the tough decision to sell my NES Classic. Hey Will, I watched the 2006 movie Aragon last night, and I fear hell twice as hard now, which is why I'm totally gonna follow number three on our list. No soldier shall, in time of peace, be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner. Ah, uh, I was on such a good streak until last night. That commandment's so hard to follow. Dear Scott, how do I ensure my party won't get stopped by the cops? Invite them! Dear Scott, my favorite grocery store's been shut down. Where should I get my food now? Definitely not Big Lots, but hey, if you want me to never turn my back on you, then go for it. Dear Scott, what should my senior prank be this year? 40 Turtles, Viagra, Freshman Hallway. Now with Mother 3 and Captain Rainbow, these are two titles with a fair amount of text, and being such obscure niche games in the time of their release, localization just never happened. With Dead or Alive Extreme 3, that wasn't localized due to being too honkin' sexy. I can picture the American reviews as I speak. A spin-off of the fighting game franchise, Dead or Alive Extreme is a beach volleyball game. Well, if it isn't my own employee, Chef Kohler. Hey, Chef Kohler, what are we cooking up here? Just cooking up some fresh dough. Wanna taste it? Wow, you've really outdone yourself on this one, Chef Kohler. It tastes just like dough. Of course, with so many deals, many retailers get some deals rolling on Thanksgiving itself, which is kind of lame. I mean, it's Thanksgiving, man. Spend that time with your family. Holy sh! It, Sonic Forces is only $25. Hey y'all, Scott here. Embrace yourselves because I have... <laughs> Natural selections of bitch, isn't it? Fast forward to 2013 where Nintendo finally unveiled their Toys to Life competitor. Some garbage Pokemon figures that were only obtainable in blind bags exclusively at GameStop for using a garbage eShop game for the Wii U. Hey, that must be the Pokemon Rumble U fan community again. Hey y'all, Scott here. And don't mind me, just passing the time by spending money on passing the time. Way to take, I should be more relatable to the everyday common man. I should be a poverty. This blows! Black Friday, also referred to as holy shit, I'm buying that 10 day, is a 
holiday, joining the likes of Cyber Monday, Fat Tuesday, and Ash Wednesday. I got in the notebooks I have to localize for Tucson, Arizona. Hopefully there's not much I have to change. Jesus! We sports resort, we party, we play, all have loads of fun to be had in them. But of course, there's also... And I can't believe it, but it's finally time to start this brand new segment I've been wanting to do for quite a long time. Elusive Demonic Arcade Cabinet Chasers. On this episode, we're going to be trying to find Polybius. And on the next episode... Now, of course, Polybius' main function was brainwashing impressionable youth, so catching it is easier than you may think. What can I say? I just get Demonic Arcade Cabinets. Finally, let's end it with NBA Baller Beats. This game is a rhythm game in the style of Dan Central, but incorporates a basketball in the moves. The problem is I don't have a basketball on me, so hopefully it'll accept a watermelon instead. Yep, it's a rhythm game with a basketball, and for you watermelon fans out there, it does technically work. Hey y'all, Scott here, and I'm on the verge of a little thing I like to call a breakthrough. You see, after I was tasked with doing taste tests on the worst games of all time according to Metacritic, I thought, there must be somebody behind this many games that bad. And after extensively looking through this Sunday's paper, I've narrowed it down to one suspect. Mr. Scoliosis. The world-renowned mastermind himself. Problem is, nobody's ever tracked him down. And I'd have to do that to get down to the bottom of what made these games so bad. Ah, oh, my f***ing bag. That must be him! Yeah, it turns out those games were bad due to mismanagement, not because of some guy with a curved spine. Hey y'all, Scott here. Don't mind me, just wearing my nostalgia goggles here. These things are a bitch. I have no idea why people wear these. Fucking boxing told me this thing would catch anything and everything. I hate when this happens. Luckily, I was diagnosed with a little thing I like to call street smarts. Why would I do such a thing to make myself so anti-healthy? Well, nobody likes smoking. Need some statistics? No problemo. This graph shows that everybody hates smoking. The shapes represent everybody. Analogy alert! And you want to talk about cartridge-shaped garbage? Take a gander at Chibi Robo Ziplash. This game blows! However, I still have a fondness for this game. Nowadays, Sonic is known for, look how f***ing stupid he looks. Hey y'all, Scott here. Hey Scott, all here. My name's Terry Lesler and this is my assistant Jeb. Welcome to the third annual Vegans Anonymous meeting. Got a big showing this year. Yeah, getting myself to smoke is proving to be a bit more challenging than I initially thought. So, to trick myself, I'm going to wrap my cigarette in this piece of cheese. With that said, on a grading scale of A to F, I give Star Fox Zero a solid not very good. Oh, <laughs> that's where the deathy aftertaste came from. I should really work on my thumb placement more. But hey, at least the Wii U's legacy will live on within the Switch as the HDMI cables manufactured for the Wii U are still being used with the Switch. Yeah, they're just HDMI cables, but that's almost as resourceful as me. For example, I repurposed all my old jeans as washcloths. It's also Mario in space. I was sold at the very beginning. It's so great. I'm debating nailing the shirt I bought the game into the wall. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Critique That Leak, the first game show to implement the per leak measurement. For example, we're getting canceled per five leaks, and my god, this is utterly terrifying to me. Let's critique some leaks! Hey y'all, Scott here, and it truly is absolutely astonishing what can happen in 10 years. Hey y'all, Future Scott here, and welcome to 2027, where I wear a chef hat now, and where Robo Ebola reigns supreme. It's a 2027 thing, you wouldn't understand. Man, I was expecting to see a gravestone, but a Robo Ebola epidemic works too. Shit, that smells like hypnosis. Ugh. Elusive demonic arcade cabinet chasing 101. Never burn a cabinet's wood. The spirit's annoyingly released after that. Now you have to find some form of containment for it.
That watermelon contains one of the most horrific spirits ever conceived. I had to lock it up for good, so I sold it to some jank thrift shop. Man, why don't we buy a rotten watermelon off of that guy? Get that thing out of here. In terms of predictions, I'm looking forward to seeing Nintendo exude mild embarrassment. Oh, oh, and Pikmin! Swapping between console mode and handheld mode is basically instant, meaning you can juggle between the two with ease, or you can keep the Switch in the dock forever, or you can never use the dock at all. However, I think this is a poor use of resources. Me personally, if I didn't use the dock, I'd use it to hold all my excess napkins. Hey y'all, Scott here, and welcome to a new segment I like to refer to as Tales from the Backlog. Man, what a scary intro. I could shit myself all day to that thing. Holy shit, there's a Madden 08! Now, none of the game cartridges that were used in these competitions have been officially re-released via digital store, so the only way we can play them nowadays is through... Jesus! Now, in terms of my opinion of it, just a warning, I grew up with the game, so I'm... Biased! Hello everybody and welcome to Critique That Leak, the first game show since Are You Smarter Than 5th Grade to exploit preteens, but this time with their Photoshop skills. Critique That Leak is brought to you by Concrete Matter. There's nothing better to start your day off with. Concrete Matter! Well, let's critique some leaks! So I'm back, I recently bought some iTunes gift cards, one for me and the other is for the next homeless guy I see on the street because I'm just a giving person and, you know, he could use that iTunes gift card much more than I could. I'd say one of the most retro bit generations thing the retro bit generations does is with the game Varth, an arcade game with a tall vertical display. This is how it looks on the console. Huh, could have displayed it like this, guys. Now I have to change my entire display setup to play a game that already runs like piss. Hey y'all, Scott here. Say, have you ever been in homicidal levels of debt? Well, if you haven't, look no further because I'm the culmination of said debt. Let's talk about that. So a few months ago, I purchased this bad boy, the Triller Fixatron. It'll take any bad trailer you're throwing to it and make it somewhat presentable. The thing is, the bad trailer fixer industry crashed recently and now nobody wants Fixatrons anymore. If you're ever caught walking down the street with one of these things, Oh boy, but I love this thing. And only after purchasing it did I realize it only cost 12 grand to have fun. I know, I said the same thing when I first saw this game. The 8th Madden? Surely they've truly run out of ideas at this point. But right when I saw the opening cinematic, I knew I wasn't in for the 8th Madden. I was in for Madden 08. When Modern Warfare was initially released, the developers obviously asked how do we appeal to a younger demographic and bada boom, that's how it's done. The Wii isn't a perfect system, but it shouldn't be chastised for popularizing motion control, rather it should be celebrated for its amazing first party lineup, interesting concepts, and great hidden gems is what I would say if I was f***ing asinine. Do you really think I'd be in support of Virgin McGames console over here? Please, I'm operating on a strict anti-Virgin policy. Elf Bowling 2? isn't bowling, it's shuffleboard, but with approximately 90% more dwarf ass. What's up guys, today we're going to be doing a durability test of the Ouya. We're going to be taking one full swing at the device at chest height, let's see how it fares. Yeah, I don't know about you, I wouldn't buy that thing, that thing broke after one hit. The Madden series was based off of the hit book, later adapted into a head coach and finally turned into video game franchise extraordinaire. Also, we repurposed this closet as a waiting room for all of our customers. How are we doing in there? Next up is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, a game that I obviously hate. Hey, I went on for seven minutes on why it isn't perfect. If I say anything good about the game, I'd obviously be a giant hypocrite. To that I say, that wasn't me guys, I swear my YouTube channel was hacked. Hey y'all, Scott here, and you call me just tuning into my favorite 50 sitcom. It's the shit Givers. Yep, that's not me. I really need to take a page out of the shit givers book and start giving a shit more. I want to be better than everybody else, so I decided to cut out fast food and to exercise more. Weirdly enough, it turned out the parking lot I threw poppets in was to a gym. It's about to smell like angst and a waste of money! I am going to be unstoppable in this form. You know what I like to see? Madden away with the DS. You know, I don't actually have that version. The DS version? You don't have the DS version, you have to have the DS version! I mean, if it makes it any better, we can move over to the Wii one. The Wii will- At long last, we can feel what it's like to Madden 08 with the Wii's motion control capabilities. We can feel every Madden, every 08. This is truly a milestone. This is probably one of the more bare-bone home console versions of the prophecy out on the market. Oh my god, I can't say something like that. It's Madden 08, just a bit simplified. Diet God is still God. 
Now with the aid of Tinder Plus, I am cruising through matches. It's like a dream come true. However, none are really responding to my messages. Yeah, I definitely made a mistake selling the NES Classic. I should probably buy it back. Hopefully I can resell this kidney for a good price. Well, this thing is fucking worthless now. NRA Varmint Hunter is a hunting game released for Microsoft Windows. I can't play it. It's just a poorly made hunting game where you shoot gophers or whatever. And judging by this game's intro, this game is fucking ruthless. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little romp through the realm of bad trailers, and if you could excuse me, I have a job interview to help me crawl out of this whole trailer Fixatron debt problem we all have at some point in our lives. All right, get this. So I got the job and then they went on about how they have this strict no trailer fix a Tron policy. <laughs> Let me tell you, I wasn't gonna have any of that. I just started pouting. With vandalism, I have a court hearing on Wednesday. All right, sorry about that, guys. I can just get a little hectic maintaining a restaurant. Oh, hey, 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 back. And look, more guns. For God's sake, Microsoft, we get it. The Second Amendment happened. It's cool, but get over it. I know all these games are totally different, but it's so many games in a row that have the same mechanic. And I know that makes me sound really... Anything that's not made by Nintendo is bullshit. E, but they should have shaken up the game trailer so then a string of games whose main mechanic isn't shooting doesn't happen. I recently beat Sonic CD and I must say it's the epitome of a mixed bag for me. At its best, it's the best. At its worst, it's the worst. Eloquently put it. Hello, Mr. Christ. I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm about to exclaim your name. Not anything personal, it's just this leak is gross. All right, see you later, man. Jesus Christ, this leak is horrendous. Hey y'all, Scott here. You ever look at a baby and you're like, Fuck yeah, now that's what I call a baby. And then four years later, you're like, well, that's a lot more underwhelming looking back at it all. Super Mario 3D World. The letter is a Wii U eShop game that failed to reach its funding goal on Indiegogo, but they released it anyway. This is a horror game without the horror. Actually, this game is terrifying when you analyze it all. A beach ball? Spinning on its own? I gotta get out of here! Madden 08 is the video game to really redefine the Madden 08 genre. We play as the titular character Madden 08 on his trek to get from here all the way over there with a football included in there somewhere. When the game tries to be creepy, it just ends up making you feel bad for it. Here we have a beating heart and don't worry, the shit in your pants is completely justified. Hey guys, look what I brought. Holy shit, is that Madden 09? Ah! Chef Kohler, what's going on? I thought you were just kneading dough. I was, and it just got out of hand. You always told me, Chef Kohler, there's no such thing as too much dough. Well, Chef Kohler, there is such thing. There is! Chef Kohler, these people are hungry. They need food now. You need to get back to the dough. You want food? The entire kitchen's on fire. Who the f*** cares? I the f*** cares. Just get a mop or something and clean all this up. We need food pronto. That's it. I'll pose as a girl on a new account just so I could see how other guys talk to me. Now, before you get judgmental here, know two things. One, I'm only posing as a girl to get laid. And two, I don't use Tinder all the time. I only use Tinder when I'm bored or horny. Dear Scott, my cat's not doing too well. What should I do? Nothing, well, dude. Cats are like furry cockroaches. They can literally survive anything. Like, I could probably eat a cat and it would probably survive. Dear Scott, I really like this girl, but don't know how to tell her. What should I say? Here we have my three patented guaranteed success rate nonstick pickup lines. Favorite barnyard animal? I'll have sex with you if you have sex with me. Fuck, mommy. Dear Scott, can we hang out? Sure, I have unlimited time for the next 45 minutes. Hey y'all, Scott here, and this game blows. It could really use some plastic shit. Hi. Oh, thank God. Guys, I am the target demographic for a micro console. Just grab your nearest Merriam-Webster's dictionary and turn to the page with the definition for micro console buyer man on it. You'll find my picture right then and there. We're not playing the version on GBA, which has numerous frame rate problems, screen crunch, and slow down. Ew. No, we're playing the Genesis original, black box and all. Jesus. Lucky shot. I hate re-releases like this. This, Player's Choice, Greatest Hits, Platinum Hits, they can all piss themselves in the dick. They're just an eyesore. Why does Player's Choice have to be yellow? Why? All right, so you know what they say. If you can survive the first 13 years of your life, you can survive just about anything. So let's see if not only could this sucker survive a long retail life, but also, you know, a pummeling. No. How am I gonna play?
put that in one now! Hey y'all, Scott here, and x x read all about it. E3 2017 looms. Turns out the newspaper industry was struggling so hard they let virginity reign supreme, and now we're getting front page headlines like this now. Hey, looks like I was diagnosed with stealing every copy of Madden 18 from Target out of spite-itis because I just stole every copy of Madden 18 from Target out of spite. People need to realize there's only one Madden that matters. There's enough Madden in this world, but not enough 08. Hey everybody, this is a pre-recorded news segment from August 2016. I'm just gonna take a wild shot in the dark and say that all copies of Madden 18 are stolen from Target. Holy sh! I called it! But, as somebody who enjoys standard video games, I am obligated to say these games would be a lot better with a real man's controller. so much better. Thusly, if I have to give the Nintendo Switch a score, I'll give it a solid 4.5 out of 6. And hey, Zelda Breath of the Wild finally came in, so I can finally open this box up and talk about what an amazing game it is on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Dear Scott, I really want to get into more politics. Where do I start? The only thing I know about politics is the president of Russia's name is Vlad the Impaler. Dear Scott, my favorite restaurant is Waffle House. What's wrong with me? Not much, the only problem with that place is I know a fair amount of people that told me they've been murdered there, so watch your back. I didn't know you could force cataracts this hard. And even then, if you decipher what these titles say, get ready for potential titles for fan fiction. Smash Brothers Blue Nightmare, Paper Mario Spotlight of the Thousand Year Door, Mario Strikers Epic, and even Wario Land 5 Upside Down. It's obviously gonna be the inferior way to play it compared to many other ways, or even the way you have to play it because you already like indie games, or you already like mobile games, you already have somewhere to play these games. So the game library on these things reek, the controllers are usually subpar, and these things appeal to basically a non-existent market. And I think I have scoliosis, but I'm too subconscious to ask my doctor about it, because every single time I go to the doctor, the doctor's just like, wow, Scott, you look really healthy, see me in a few months, and I'm like, thanks, doc! But then I'm like, I go home, and I'm like, this smells like scoliosis! However, here's the thing, I believe some pretty crazy stuff, but that is just preposterous! Hey, check this out, the Madden-o-meter's off the charts at the VAG, and the 18 meters not too far off. That might be where the stash is. Is Officer Wall on his way there? Knowing him, he should be close. Oh, s He's just been driving around in circles for the last half an hour. Let's just go there ourselves. Where is you Get on the f***ing ground, you f***ing scumbag piece of Nope. No sign of Madden 18 here. Wait. Remember the last Madden scandal? Shit! Check the fridge! Through all of its only six zones, easy boss fights, unfair challenges, enemy placement and design, stupid dumb and stupid special stages, I think I actually hate this game. Yeah, this game actually reeks. Sega. Son of a bitch, I'm so lucky! Hey y'all, Scott here, and welcome to New Franchise Watch, where we find new IPs so you don't have to. Today we're gonna try and lure a new IP by using two of its favorite things, no audience and a shoestring budget. Fuck, there it is! I had to fight to wrangle this sucker up a bit, but lo and behold, the elusive arms. You see, it's elusive because nobody bought it. Ooh. So I recently took a lot of new photos. I specifically got this dude who works for Shutterstock to do it for me, and I think these pictures came out pretty well. I also buffed out all the kinks in my bio and came up with this. Hey gang, King Handjob here. Just just showing how much experience I have. I am what many would consider a party within a profile. You know, I'm just a fun guy, you know? In terms of future plans, I would like to be 25 years old someday. You know, I have aspirations too, you know? No ghost allowed. I've had too many bad experiences with those things. This bag scientifically proven to show me how well I had it off with Madden 08 being my only Madden of choice. Ew. Well, we're off to a rip-roaring start. I went to the local carryout and I picked up some classic Mario Bros. cigarettes. And I'm just gonna give these a solid huff, and a puff, and a blow. I'm gonna try and find another job. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, hi, I was wondering if you guys are taking applications. I thought it was a cool little figure. And then it hit me. Ah, so this is what overcompensation looks like. Leaky Steve ended up sending me this big Smash Brothers leak, so I gotta check it out. No way! Hey y'all, Scott here, and would you shut up for like a minute because I'm trying to focus on my Connect Sports Season 2 speedrun. If I screw this up, the KSS 2 speedrunning community won't let me hear the end of it. 
And up to bat comes a very promising new talent. Slows it right down. Strike. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know humiliation came included with this thing. I can go all day on this. Seriously, people know me as the guy who can come up with Smash Brothers stages. Others are like, no way, and I'm like, Art Academy stage, and they're like, whoa, wait a second, man, and I'm like, Elite Beat Agent stage, and then they're like, good god, man, slow down, and I'm like, the Sanderson's house from Cheap Robo, and they're like, this man is a f***ing animal, he must be stopped! One of my favorites back in the day was running, but now I'd rather just tape my Wiimote to a fan and let it play itself. Before we get out of here, I'm feeling queasy in the most negative way possible. Is that something I said? You see, it's elusive because nobody bought it. Ooh. Huh. Well, before anybody gets angry over that comment, here's my official response. Just kidding! And then ending it on Beyond Good and Evil 2, one of the most anticipated, long-awaited sequels of all time. Of course, it's weird because the characters swear like every two syllables in the trailer. I think they obviously looked into some marketing research and realized people don't care about talking monkeys if they ain't swearing. I like the diversity in sizes and detail in the figurines. I love Olimar's helmet, the shiny material he used for Dr. Mario's pill, Captain Falcon looks dead on. For some reason, I always really like the Greninja amiibo. It's so cool to own a miniature Rob the Robot. And look at Bowser with his spikes, yeesh, I definitely wouldn't stick him in my mouth. Which is why I decided to go forth with the world's first ever no touch speedrun of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's a work in progress. Hey y'all, Scott here, and what you're hopefully looking at right now is one of my favorite water bottle brands out there, Lake On The Go from Water Productions. I'm pretty brand loyal to Water Productions, but I won't just buy anything from them willy-nilly. They really have to prove the worth of their product to me before I buy. Water is back, introducing Water ZEX Plus, the cooler, more anti way of staying hydrated. It's Water ZEX Plus from Water Productions. This ain't your granddad's water. Well, I'm sold. Oh, hot dog. Not only is an incredibly beautiful woman interested in me, but an attractive one as well. There's only two ways this can end. Marriage followed by sex. Or slight embarrassment. At this point, I'll take anything. All right, let me just click this link to message her. Oh, uh, okay, I'll, I'll come across women I know. Well, that's enticing specifically because the only women I know are cartoon foxes. Do you agree to keep the user's identity secret? N no, because if somebody asks me, I'll start giggling too much and they'll see right through me. The women on this site are not at all interested in a relationship. Boring. Do you agree to practice safe sex? What is this, middle school? Lame. Age group, gonna go for the lows and the highs and what type of body turns you on? Ooh, I love Buffalo Wild Wings. What type do I prefer? I'll say all! Well, BAMA! Well, if Nintendo wasn't interested in giving Amiibo purpose, I sure as hell won't miss an opportunity to kill an afternoon, and I'll do it myself. So, hi everybody, and welcome to How Many Amiibo Can I Fit In My Mouth? Let's pick one at random here. Damn it! Please take off your shoes. Here at On Your Market Set Munch, we want our customers to come in with depression-encrusted shoes and leave with non-lame ones. Take them away, boys! They'll be back when you're done with your meal. Nintendo needs to start off strong. Just get into the games. Don't waste time on games that are coming out within the month like ARMS or something. Fuck. I'd probably give 3D World a solid 7.5 out of 10, but I have to wholeheartedly love it because there's no true 3D Mario game on the horizon. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a thing. But I'm... Done rebuying water. I've already bit the bullet on water ZEX Plus. I don't need. Oh, I can't resist. I'm such a water fanboy. Well, I have the sudden urge to make a DeviantArt account. But it went over Star Fox, Zelda, Mario Party, which were all shown off at E3 2014. Of course, a lot of this wasn't and was obviously fake. Shit, that was five leaks. And here we have the game's hub world, Jillian Michaels Fitness Camp, and I gotta say it looks more concentration than fitness. Tacoma, what the hell was that? No, seriously, I feel like indie game trailers at Microsoft press conferences do the worst job at telling you what their game is like. Like, remember the trailer for Inside last year? What was that? Uh-oh. Yeah, I bought this game used and it didn't come with the heart rate monitor, but let's just see how far we can get in the game without them. Yep, they're on to us. 
Alright, so that's just a few E3 rumors from the past few years, and I better hurry up and end it here because E3 2017 is happening, like, right now. But I still have to post my leak to 4chan. I constructed a potential menu screen for Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo Switch, just showing off Smash Run as a new mode and connectivity to the 3DS and Wii U to transfer trophies, custom characters, etc. Etc. Now you might be saying, Scott, other people have made fake leaks for publicity before. Yeah, keep spewing that and make sure to tell me when I start paying attention. Oh, breaking news! God exists! And he's a pretty nice guy because I don't have to create an account to post on 4chan. Alright, so fuck! I realize Nintendo Network isn't a part of Nintendo Switch's infrastructure. And it looks like these people aren't having any of it. Well, let me just edit that out. There, now there's the real screenshot. Now they'll believe it's real. Hey, based on my indecision on whether to make this a game show or a talk show, we have a caller. You're on the air. Hey, Scott. Long time caller. First time listener. Leaky Steve? Our leaker on the field? What are you doing here? I can't help myself, man. I'm gonna start leaking if I can't help myself. Oh no, here I go again. Wait a minute, Leaky Steve. Are you sending us an exclusive leak? Sure am. Now I trust you with every potential leak, Leaky Steve, but I think you're gonna have to prove yourself to our loyal audience. All right, fine. Just in case you guys don't trust me, here's a picture of my foot to prove that I'm real. The controls don't make me feel empowered or like I'm really flying the R-Wing. They make me feel weak and stupid. I don't feel like a Star Fox. I feel like a loser. The 3DS has lived an incredibly full life, but I'm glad Nintendo decided to kill it off. That means all of their development efforts can go towards the Switch, and that means we get more games for the Switch. Excuse me, that must be my doctor. My results must be in. Yellow. Hey Scott, it's Dr. E. Bill here. Got your test results in, and it seems you've been diagnosed with disappointment. Oh. That's why we're going to be looking at a reporter on the field, Reporty Jim, who is currently reporting on the console war grounds. How's it looking down there, Reporty Jim? I need to stop sending people to cover wars. My god. I think I finally get it. This beautiful, illustrious planet wasn't made to just sit inside and do some good old wholehearted thumb twiddling. No! It was made to be nurtured and protected and to be made it better every single day. I think I finally get it. I think I finally found my calling. I found that I, shit. Hey all, Scott here in nature. What century is this? It totally slipped my mind that I have no sex waiting for me at home right now. The Nintendo Switch has officially launched, and it's bringing with games to play like Zelda and menus. This is technically the first game console I ever bought at launch, so let's see how long it takes to disappoint. Alright, so while I wait for her to throw herself at me, I think I need to do something different to my Tinder profile, something to help it stand out from the crowd. Oh, I'll, I'll make a video to help sell myself, like a movie trailer, you know? Uh... The only problem is I sold my computer to help fund Tinder Plus. Uh, the thing is, you know, I spent $10 on Tinder Plus and $140 on the iTunes gift cards for Homeless Man McGee out there. So I guess I'm going to have to use Windows Movie Maker on my old computer to help make this trailer. I was reported. Oh, hey y'all, Scott here, and well, this is awkward. Let's put an end to that. This here is a state of the art, it's that time machine. It formulates a topic that's embarrassingly topical, so you always have something trendy to converse about. Looks like it's forming something now. Wow, oh wow. Who knew video games could be so bad? Hopefully those games didn't affect my sanity too much. Ah! 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 Yeah, those games were pretty bad.